Hey guys, Dano921 here. Welcome back to episode 80 of my modded survival let's play. Um, I've tried recording this a couple of times and I've had quite a few problems. So as you can see, uh, this is all done. I'll get into this in a minute. But first I want to show you my nodes. Um, this is the node that I want to go ahead and fill. Um, as you can see, we've already got it pretty far, but it's nowhere near finished. Uh, there's uh, there's all these nodes that I want to put into it. So yeah, also this will allow us uh, this little thing on top of there. That allows us to use things like the Aurum, uh, yeah, the Aurum, the Fabrico, the Vitrium, uh, the Herbus, the Herba, sorry, and the Spiritus. Uh, it basically turns those into the base aspects when it's filling the wand up, which is really really nice. So that's that. Um, and I also went ahead and did some research and I actually made, um, damn it, I got research for the Golomancy Core Harvest, which is that one. Um, so pretty much what I did was I got, I made two clay golems, I gave one of them the Harvest Upgrade and one of them the Gather Upgrade. Um, basically he can harvest these when these get to full but he cannot pick them up and put them in a chest so we've got this little golem to do that um, but also on the uh, harvest golem um, he can't actually replant um, they're not smart enough to replant the crops so you need to go ahead and put this auto upgrade in that will allow them to replant so pretty much that's uh, that's where I've got up to. Uh, I'm, I was just testing this out and then I realised I had a problem. Um, so one thing to note, you do want to put a mana bean in here um, before you go ahead and start this. Because if you drop something else on the floor, he will proceed to pick it up and try and put it in. But he can't because, well, this filing cabinet only allows one thing. Um, now the next question is, will he pick that up? He won't. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, so we'll need to keep an eye on this. But uh, yeah, just note that with filing cabinets you will need to put one in there already. Uh, I might end up changing this from a filing cabinet just to a uh, ender chest or something like that. Maybe. Might be an idea. But yeah, so... Um, I've got this little system. This is not what I want to do at all. This was just a little test to see if uh, see if it would work. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to test this guy yet because he hasn't had anything to harvest. So I just need to go ahead and wait for that. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and wait for that and see if this guy will harvest. And then I'll move on to the next thing that I want to try out. Also, there's a wisp up there. Kill it. Die wisp. Yeah. You scared of me? Yeah, you scared. You scared? Yeah. Ooh, a red heart. That's pretty cool. I didn't think you got those off then. Uh, anyway, I will be back once... Ow. I'll be back once uh, I've figured out if this guy is actually harvesting and replanting. While I've been waiting for the uh, golem to finally harvest something, because it's still not growing, um, I've decided to go ahead and actually build this little structure here. So this is where I'm going to have all the random, um, all the random beans. Um, because I didn't actually explain it, but the way I want to do it is I want to have... Um, random ones there and then I want like six little uh, six little places of their own for uh, all the um, base aspects because that way um, that way then I will get a decent amount of the base aspects and obviously uh, the ones over here can just do whatever um, I don't think I'll get this operational today but hopefully sometime soon. And as you can see, my this uh, little golem is carrying around some saplings because I chopped this tree down. 
Uh, and actually, I'm going to chop the other tree down as well to clear out a little bit of space. So he's not going to work properly just yet because there's saplings falling and stuff, but it should be fine. Um, right. So yeah, this is what I've built for this, and this is five long, and I believe if I... Alright, this is going to be like this. No, it's one more. So you're going to have one, two... Actually, we could probably just... No. Yeah, I want to do it like this. Ah, uh, bloody zombies. They are very annoying. So, we've got three that way. And then... Uh, yeah, we can do it like that, actually. Two, three. So, it's going to be just a little bit bigger than that one, which is a shame. And then it's going to be like that. So, how far is that from there? So we've got, actually, I can use my tape measure. So that should be far enough if I can put the golems in the middle. Uh, because it's a 16 by 16. Now it's only 10 that way and it's obviously 15 that way. Uh, but I think it's actually 14 because I'm not on, those end ones don't technically count. So this is what I've got planned. Um, so hopefully it's going to end up looking pretty cool uh, because what I'm going to end up doing is having these like this and just get rid of these and that and we're going to have it kind of like that yeah and then this one will be one, two, three. No, we can't do that. Uh, oh no, never mind. I uh, I got it wrong. So these three don't need to be here. So it's gonna it's gonna look a little bit weird, but there is reason to it, and there probably are. There probably are better ways to do this, but whatever. So, this is roughly what it's going to be like. Uh, it's not perfect, but hopefully it's going to serve the job. So, it's going to be like that, and they're going to be uh, all the way over here. They're going to have these little gaps, but that's just to ensure that these and these ones don't cross breed basically um, so yeah I think it's gonna look pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead at, oh first no I won't be able to tell because he's got stuff right that should be good most of this is all cleared now I should pick everything else up Right, so this is how it looks. It's not perfect, it's not beautiful, um, and what I could actually do... These mobs are doing my head in, seriously. What I could actually do is just extend this out by one, really, um, so that it matches. Because it's not really going to hurt anything, it's just that it's going to be 11 long, not 10. And boom, boom, boom. Come on, there we go. So, basically, all the base aspects are going to be here, um, and then all the others are hopefully going to crossbreed over there and give us a decent amount of different aspects. Now, I don't know if there's some sort of pattern that you should put them in to get specific aspects or anything like that. Um, I'm probably not going to look into it, I'm just probably going to just go by ear. These zombies are doing, seriously doing my head in. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to play it by ear and just see how it goes. 
but we do actually have the terror ones so i'm going to go ahead and put those down so that's terror then we've got aqua which i'm going to put just the one right so i've just gone round and i've planted at least one of all the base aspects so hopefully they'll start to grow and multiply and stuff like that um i think i'm gonna leave this bit for now because i still don't know if this is working properly or not so i need to pretty much just wait and it's actually taking a really long time so what i'm thinking i'll do is wait until next episode to uh to go ahead and see if this is working so next episode what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my golems over here and i'm going to set them up so that they can harvest all of these and i'll probably chuck a couple of random aspects up on this so hopefully it's uh, this is going to be quite good um and what this will mean is all of our aspects and everything will pretty much just be do well we'll get them all from this um and what i might end up doing instead of putting the um ender chest here because i was thinking about doing that i may just put a storage bus on this see if that'll work because that'll be quite interesting but um yeah i think that's going to be it for this episode unfortunately um so i want to say thank you for watching and i shall see you next time